Hi, this is Southern Bell 74 and welcome to Unsolved Missing. This story is about Delano Burke. I had saw this story over the weekend and I decided to do a upload on it. This goes into our Unsolved Missing and a Broken Justice System. Former Texas A&M football player Delano Burks has been missing for more than a week after having a night out on the town in Houston. With surveillance footage on social media appearing to show the 26-year-old stumbling and in distress. We believe it's something sinister that happened to them. This is coming from his mother, Mrs. Karen Jeffley. She said in a news conference, he did not look like he had control of his legs. It did not look like he was going to make it very far. Houston police said that they're investigating the incident that happened on November the 13th. We are certainly not going to rule out the fact that the possibility is he wandered off and we're not going to rule out the fact that foul play was not involved either. Ms. Jeffley has asked members of the public to check their doorbell cameras and any other surveillance that could capture new information. He was last seen on the early hours of November the 13th after having a night out in town with some of his friends. According to the police, the group pulled over Mr. Burks so he could use um, the restroom in McIntyre's bar. This bar is located on 19th Street in Houston. When Mr. Burks did not return from the bar, his friends began looking for him. When they were unable to find him, they contacted his wife the next day. The lengthy disappearance as well as security footage seemed to show Mr. Burke stumbling, which alarmed the family. It almost made me break down into tears, said his brother. It seemed like he was struggling. Someone gave him a drink, said his sister. Then you see him hours later running down the street and it looks like someone was running after him. A missing persons bulletin was put out. Uh, Mr. Burks also had a real estate company. He stands at five foot ten inches. He has brown eyes and black hair and he is 200 pounds. If you know anything, I will list in my description box information where you can uh, reach out to the Houston Police Department missing persons case. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to Southern Bell 74. Up first tonight, a family is desperate to find their loved one who hasn't been seen since early Sunday morning. Delano Burke was hanging out with friends in the Heights when they say he simply disappeared without a trace. Zach Tawatari sat down with his wife and mother tonight. Zach, what are they telling you? That man's family says they've been searching this Heights neighborhood for days after a night out with friends. Now they're asking for the community's help in putting the pieces together. In this busy Heights neighborhood. We don't know what happened. It's, it's like a mystery. He just disappeared. The family of 26-year-old Delano Burks continues searching nearly five days after they say he went missing early Sunday morning. It's been hard because you're trying to keep going and think positive. <laughs> But then reality starts to set in. His wife Autumn and mother Karen Jeffley say they knew something was wrong that day when they hadn't heard from Burks. He just didn't call, so that's that's not like him at all. According to his family, Delano had gone out Saturday night with friends. One of those friends they say was driving Delano's car when they pulled over in a restaurant parking lot near Beavis and West 19th and 20th Streets in the Heights. That's when they say Delano went next door to McIntyre's to use the bathroom. They say this video they obtained shows Delano exiting McIntyre's after he was asked to leave, then appearing to run and stumble in videos they shared with us from more nearby businesses. I was wondering if somebody was chasing him. And according to the family, those friends Delano was with left without him. His friends had his car. Um, so it wouldn't have been like him to when his friends called. They said he was had already been gone for a whole day and he didn't call them to retrieve his car. Delano's phone, they say, ran out of battery 
and he also didn't have an ID. And now they're turning to the community for any help they can provide. This is completely just like not normal. We reached out to investigators and HPD tells us this is still an active investigation. If you know anything, you're asked to call the missing persons unit at 832-394-1840. Zach Tawatari, KHOU 11 News. Begin with the family's urgent search to bring a loved one back home. Take a look at this video. This video's just released tonight. It, he, you're looking at Delano Burks, and he has not been home since Sunday, November 13th. He, will, he was last seen leaving McIntyre's, a bar in the Houston Heights area, and that's just outside of McIntyre's. His mother, Karen Jeffley, joins us here in the studio tonight to talk about this. When you took a look at that video, and, and I said, what's going on there? It looks like he's running. W what's happening there? So he's being escorted out at that point. Um, they, I guess he was drunk and they took him to the side door and told him he needed to leave. Uh-huh. And you haven't seen, the last time you saw your son was the 13th. Correct. And what have you been able to gather by talking to people, looking at various surveillance videos to piece together that night? So there was more than just liquor in him. We think he was drugged. Mm -hmm. um, he is not himself. Um, we think maybe he was being followed. We don't know. Um, it, he just kind of disappeared. And so what, what are investigators saying to you, if anything? Um, Interestingly, um, the HPD is, is, has a small investigation unit, so it just it's just going along in its protocol. Mm -hmm. So we've got our own people too, and we're 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 out there right now. Now, do you know if he had anyone who would want to drug him, anyone who would want to take advantage of him? At um, all? no, I don't. But it's just the times that we're in right now, mm -hmm. and the different things that we have that. Um, sinister stuff that goes on that, you know, we can't rule out. Do you know the last person that he talked to? Yeah, he was there with his friend, um, which his friend left him there at the club, so at the bar. Um, and from what we're understanding, that's the very last person that he spoke to besides the, um, the bouncers there. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And so EquiSearch also did a search today. Right. Uh, what, what, obviously, they found nothing, and, and that's good and that's news great. for you because yes. they, they took out cadaver dogs Absolutely. to look for remains, almost like a recovery now. Right. But that's good news for you. How, I, I couldn't even imagine what this feels like to have oh. your son, your, your, your child out there, and you don't know where he is. Right, exactly. Well, we've been surviving on adrenaline, adrenaline at this point. So hardly no sleep. Like I said, we're out there right now. We've got a crew out there. I've been sleep out there, just looking for him. Mm -hmm. Well, wherever he is, he's not in his right mind because he had a cell phone on. He, if he's out there. And is a cell phone now going straight to voicemail? Yeah, it went to voicemail that night. It so it, going it to may have run out of night. charge then. Possibly, know. right, possibly. But we've got to go through a certain protocol in order to get the um, ping for us to find out where he was last. And and ha have you had a lot of support from his friends? Um, some support. Um, some support. You'd like more, I I'm sure. Well, um, Or at least assistance. Um, he's had a lot of support. We've had a lot of support from his church and from just his family. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we've had, um, I think this weekend, we had 90 people one day, 60 people another day. Mm-hmm. And what's next for you now? Do you go back out? Obviously, you're dressed up and ready to, to hit the streets again yeah. to continue the search. Absolutely. Have you uh, remained just in the Heights area or have you expanded the perimeter? So, so we've gotten tips. So each of our tips we've actually um, gone to. So we'll move a crew there and we'll search. We'll move a crew and we'll search. So we're following our tips. We are doing that, but we are still in the Heights. We do still have, have our husband behind. And, and guys, let's put up his picture because that's most important in case someone sees him out there. And for you, tell us as a mother how important this man is to you. That is my baby. That is my, ch my youngest son. Um, we just need to find him if he's, I mean, I, I'm, 
it's possible that he's he's just still out there. It's possible that, um, uh, you know, there's so many things that it, negative things, but I'm just going to focus on the possibility that he's still out there, even though it's been seven days, eight days. And of course, if you have any information, contact the Houston Police Department or family members or Crime Stoppers, whomever, if you see this man on the streets of Houston, uh, even if he may not appear to be in his right mind, please call the cops or at least get in touch with his family. Yes, that would be the, um, if he's not in his right mind, that is the best um, outcome that we can have right now right, right. to finding him because we know he knows numbers and all of those things. So if anybody sees him, if they could take a picture of it, and we have a Facebook and an Instagram, Finding Delano, which is D-E-L-A-N-O, and just post it there. That'll kind of help us so we don't have to, you know, keep running around and basically trying to f discover whether that's him or not because right. we've had a lot of dead. Most all of our leads have been dead end leads. They're just not him. All right. Well, we want to wish you the best, and thank you for coming on The Factor thank Uncensored. And like we said, if you see anything out there, contact the police, family members, whomever you can to help get him home. Thank mm -hmm. you, guys. We'll thank be. You.